What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Kite. This is another discipline guide where we help people and teams build the discipline they need to get what they want as fast and reliably as possible. Something that has it's always been a topic of discussion, something that is you know, frequently asked. There's tons of Google searches about this. There, there are people who are getting older, who are always wanting to know more about this as, as the environment that we're changing with the technology is shifting a lot. Time. Time is always one of the things that people want to know how to use. Not just how to use, but how to maximize it. And they, they ask for how to manage it and they want techniques and they want schedules. But the real question, right, the real question that we want to know is how do we maximize our time? How do I maximize my time? Both my time in a day, my time in a year, and maybe how do I maximize my time for life? How do I maximize these moments that we have? And so, yeah, it's a question that I get asked a lot. Yeah, it's a question a lot of people get asked a lot. It's a question that people ask themselves a lot. So I thought, all right, well, let me just break it down because I believe that a lot of things that people try with time management techniques, uh, they fail because they don't have the right mindset. I, I think people have a way of looking at and thinking about and talking about time, specifically about their time that undermines their efforts. So for me, the discipline guide to maximizing my time begins with my mindset about time, and that starts with the language that I use with time. I want you to think about this. Think about for a second. The words that you and everybody else use with the word time. Find, make, create, don't have, look for. None of these words have anything to do with time. You can't find time because it's not lost. You can't make time because you don't have a recipe for it. You can't create time because you're not God. You don't need to look for time. It's not hiding from you. And when it comes to I don't have time, time is all you have. If you say I don't have time, tell me, if you don't have time, what did you have? Where did it go? The only time you don't have time is when you are dead. The mindset matters, the language matters. The reason that you use words like find, look for, make, create, don't have, is because it changes how you think about time. You build in excuses for why the time didn't get used. And that is the only thing that you can do and I can do with our time. Use it. That's it. There's one thing you do with your time and that is you use it. You will use every second, you will use every minute, you will use every hour. The second you do not have time to use, your life is over. Until then, you will use every second. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to make it. You don't get to create it. You don't need to find it, and you have it. So the question for maximizing time isn't a technique, it's not a calendar, it's not a schedule, it's a mindset. Is this what I want to use my time for? Is this what I'm going to use my life on? That's the question. And then the second piece is a more hard line. And this is not a technique, it's just a change. Do not use any of those other words anywhere in your life regarding time. What I do, is I practice and I put in place, I'm not allowed to refer to time using any of those words that I just mentioned. Find, make, create, look for, don't have. All of those are eliminated. There's only one word I'm allowed to associate with and speak in relationship with time, and that is use. So if somebody says, hey, can you go do this? I don't ever say I don't have time, because I do have time, and I'm gonna use it for something. If I'm gonna use it for something different than what that person asked me for, then I'll say, hey, I'm going to do this instead, or I need to do that. I do not make the excuse to that person or to myself that I didn't have the time, because that's always false. I have time, and it got used on this. That makes me responsible for my choice, but more importantly, it makes me have to actually choose. What am I gonna use the time for? 
I don't look for time because the time, again, the time isn't something that's, that's hiding and is not lost. So rather than say, hey, let me look for, or I just need to make the time or create the time, I don't put myself under any false assumption that I can create a 25th hour in the day or I can create a 90 minute window that didn't previously exist. It's not getting created. It's changing how I use my time from A to B, from this to that, from a low priority to a high priority, from, a, from an intense work session to a relaxation session for me to recoup and recover. Once I start thinking about and speaking about my time in terms of use, now the responsibility is all on me. And the same thing is true for you. So stop using language that isn't reality around time. And people don't think language has that much of an impact, but language shapes how you see the world. Language shapes how you see yourself. And in this case, language shapes how you see and how you use your time. If you wanna maximize your time, start talking about to yourself and others exactly how you're gonna use it. I appreciate you watching. We don't run any ads on this channel. We're not a monetized YouTube channel. All we wanna do is give you value, give you things that help you and benefit you and the people that you care about. So if you could subscribe, like, and share, we would appreciate it so we can keep bringing the heat for you guys on more videos like this.